The point in time count helps paint a picture of homelessness in Kern County by utilizing volunteers to count unsheltered individuals during the course of one morning. But with 2024's count just a few weeks away, organizers say there aren't nearly enough volunteers in the KRV to get an accurate picture of homelessness up here. In the Kern River Valley, I'm Corey O'Leary, your neighborhood reporter. Right now, we only have four that attended the training. That's Jim Wheeler, executive director of Flood Ministries, which helps recruit volunteers for the point in time count. The count itself is organized by the Bakersfield Regional Homeless Collaborative. We do a survey. We try to determine how many people were homeless on a specific night and a point in time. We do ask demographic questions, questions about mental health, substance use, where they were the when they became homeless. The count takes place on January 24th from 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. Volunteers need to attend a training session, with the last one before the count taking place on Tuesday, February 16th at 5.30. That's very straightforward. It's always been very safe, but we just want to make sure to keep it that way. Both state and federal funding is determined by the results of the count. Wheeler says the Care V is one of the more difficult areas to get an accurate count. Last year, only 12 unsheltered people were reported in the KRV. The more people and the more volunteers we have, the more teams we have, the more comprehensive we can be in our count. To get involved, you can go to bkrhc.org and click volunteer for the 2024 pit count on the homepage. We would really ideally like to have 10 to 12 people. Corey O'Leary, 23ABC News.